I am back from my trip to Hilton Head Island, and I have a few video games to go over that I picked up on my trip, and some uh, alcohol, and some more alcohol, and glasses. We're going to go over these games, but first some footage from Hilton Head Island. Okay, quite literally, my first stop in Savannah, well, after a CVS to see if they had a bathroom, I got a uh, bag of the Master System games, which you saw. Um, they all individually priced from like $8 up to $20, actually one that Alex Kidd won, I think it was $30, and uh, made an offer of 100 He called the vendor, because this is an antique store, as you can see, there's just stuff. Called the vendor, the vendor countered with a 110 I don't even know how many there are, but I paid $110 for a big sack of Master System games. There's a couple duplicates. That Rambo First Blood is a duplicate for me, but and the Shinobi is an upgrade. But I will be able to resell those. So, <laughs> if this is the only retro game find on this trip, I'm pretty happy because I don't walk away every day with a bag full of Master System games. We'll go over them at the end of the video. store of video games. I bought WWF Royal Rumble for the Dreamcast. That's it.
those trees straight ahead in the distance, that's where uh, Highway 278 is. And the Atlantic Ocean is straight over those trees ahead of us. That's to the east, to the right, is to the south. Bag of Genesis titles, two dollars each. Not much. It's all sports titles, but two dollars are all complete. Can't complain about that. A couple loose Wii U games for five dollars each. We'll go over here in a minute. That way is Italy, over there. England, that way, maybe. This is the time of Captain Jack Sparrow. Pirates so green, the ocean breeze. Want to go out? All right, here we are. It's my last night here, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. This is not the ocean, although it is salt water. They call it a creek. I'm not sure which creek it is, but you, it does flow with the tide. I think it's coming in right now, so it'll be up here eventually. That is a tollway. I am at some restaurant, uh, Black Marlin, I believe is the name of the Black of the restaurant. There's a DJ right now. There's gonna be a band playing. A bunch of uh, hotties. Anyway, my last night. I know I haven't got a ton of footage. And like most of my videos, it's probably going to be me sitting in my apartment going over the pickups. It's going to be Juice Daddy's Vacation Pickups. Hilton Head Island Edition. Ton of Sega stuff. A stack of Master System games. A stack of Genesis titles. Stack! Even though they're all sports titles, there's two titles in that Genesis stack. Even though they are... Sports titles. Oh, that boat over there is docking. That that boat right there apparently goes to Defusky Island, which there's no bridge or nothing, no traffic over there. It's that boat to and fro. Apparently, some expensive houses over there. Anyway, a couple titles in that Genesis stack, even though they're sports titles, they're pretty good titles. I looked them up. I'm gonna miss this place. I'm gonna miss the uh, the the sea smell. I'm gonna miss my parents. I'm gonna be miss, missing, you know, being down here in the ocean and the beach. I'm gonna miss being on vacation. Look at this little lot of ski dudes. Hello. Take one of those bad boys out. I'm gonna miss the adult beverages. I'm gonna miss 
not being at work. <laughs> saw a gator. Saw dolphins. Saw really expensive houses. You're not going to be able to see them, but they're overall here on this other shore. These million dollar homes over there. Like apparently Ron Howard owns one of them and Bob Hope's son owns one. Of course, you have to be a little bit older to know who Bob Hope is. Anyway, this will be the last shot from Hillnet Island. Next shot will probably be me tomorrow night or Sunday afternoon going over the stack of pickups I got. Always be hunting. ABH. There is no vacation from video game hunting. You're always hunting. Let every person you know, every man, woman, and child you know, know that you're looking for old retro games. And then when you're on vacation, half your bag is filled up with retro video games. But I'm gonna miss this. I've eaten so much seafood. I know you can't tell, but I probably gained a few pounds on this trip from all the lobster mac and cheese, uh, fish, scallops, shrimp and grits. Ate at the Waffle House for the first time in my life. And wouldn't you know it, the Waffle House has good waffles. Who knew? I thought the Waffle House would be fucking shit. I was wrong. It is the fucking shit. It's the shiz. Get two waffles at Waffle House. That's my recommendation. Don't eat nothing else. Two waffles. It's all you need. You'll be stuffed. Fried green tomatoes. What else I eat? Ah, about to have a, a seafood roll for my last dinner here tonight. It's going to have lobster, shrimp, scallops, crab, all crab. Lord. Anyway, one more shot of this crick. The sailboat going down or up. I'm not sure which is which. I'm not sure if the sea is being fed from that way or that way. Alright, I'm gonna go join my uh, mom and stepdad. Should have another adult beverage and a souvenir glass that I'm sure I'll be using on the pickup recap. And I'll see you all in a minute. It'll be a, probably a day and a half to two days for me. We'll go over the Juice Daddy Vacation Pickups, Hilton Head Island Edition. It's been fun. A little full moon action. I think that's full moon. Close to it. Oh, it's so nice. 80 degrees. Not even 80 degrees. Probably in the low 70s. No humidity. But this place sucks in July. <laughs> With a full moon, maybe I'll take a couple chances. The ladies. Hi, ladies. You want to be disappointed by a fat man on his last night here? Sweet. Not sweet. I never do that. I'm too damn shy.
All right, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of footage from Hilton Head and my vacation. Before we get into the game pickups, as you saw there in the beginning, I got a little bit of alcohol and some glasses. So, as you know, I like to fix myself a drink before doing this. So, let's fix a drink. Um, we'll start. I've got these two souvenir glasses from the Black Marlin and the Hurricane Bar. And that was the last place I went on the Friday night before coming home. So let's fix a couple drinks. I got a little ice. The first piece of ice goes on the floor. All right. And if we're going to make sure I'm not going to step on the ice. Hold on. Oh. I had a drink. We'll put a little tequila in there. Not the Costco tequila. I got to get rid of this stuff first. Drink this Hornitos first. We'll put some in there. Oh. I don't know, probably a couple shots worth. And look, I found sugar-free margarita mix. Perfect. I don't salt my uh, margaritas I make at home. Cheers. <sighs> All right. What are we going to do with this other one? Well, you may have saw it in the intro. Now I'm going to tell you what it is. This is from Hilton Head Distillery. It's called Mountain Pink Espresso Flavored Rum. It's like coffee flavored rum. My favorite! So let's put a little in this glass. And we have some... Uh, Starbucks iced coffee, unsweetened. And, uh, cheers. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. All right. I got a souvenir glass from Frankie Bones Restaurant and Lounge. This place, lobster and cheese. It's a lobster mac and cheese. Now, if you've ever stopped at the Red Lobster by the interstate in your town and had their lobster mac and cheese, then five minutes later you're doing damage in their bathroom on the toilet bowl, I know what you're thinking. That stuff is nonsense. Forget about it. They put a whole damn lobster inside this mac and cheese actually it's a penne and cheese you get the pasta you're seriously doing this and the cheese is just stringing down to your plate it's got the oh it was so good oh let's make a drink um let's see we'll take our costco vodka which i did not get on the trip but we'll put a little bit of that in there and uh I've kind of wanted to do this since discovering these. Uh, thank you, Millennials, for forcing Coke to come up with Diet Coke for Millennials. This is the Twisted Mango. And put it in there. Twisted Mango Vodka. For some reason, I thought it would be yellow. Not bad. All right, and finally, I didn't go there on Hilton Head Island because I heard it's a tourist trap. So even though I was a tourist, I was there with locals. So I did not go to the Salty Dog Cafe. However, I have a Salty Dog plastic cup. This cup looks like a good thing for a beer. Now, Rainier is probably not the beer you think when you're thinking of, you know, tropical beach destinations. However, it is what I have in my refrigerator in Montana right now. So, let's pour a little Rainier in the old Salty Dog Cafe cup. Oh shit. Put that in the trash can. <laughs> that was not a good pour. Um, ah, all right. So, I've got some, oh wait. Also got three 
Hilton Head Distillery shot glasses. So let's get, I'm not doing any shots. <laughs> I actually have places to go this afternoon and I'm going to need to drive. So let's get these drinks arranged. Then we'll get the games. We'll set them up. Pickups coming up right about now. I got to be honest. This clip that I'm filming right now, the pickup portion of my vacation video, is being filmed about a week after I filmed the making of the drinks. I did film a pickup portion after that. Let's just say I got a little toasty. I was rambling. I misspoke. I, I threw it in the garbage. I'm like, <laughs> one mistake I can live with. One beer burp I can live with, but rambling and going, Ugh. that's what happens when you fix five drinks. I still got the salty dog cup, but it is water. I'm not drinking heavily today yet. So let's get through these pickups that I picked up on my trip to Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. I actually had this shirt. I didn't buy this shirt down there. Had it already. All right, so we'll start with just uh, lots of thrift stores down there, but they're pretty much cleaned out. I did get this copy of Wii Sports for a dollar at one of the thrift stores, and this uh, really nice copy of Super Mario Galaxy Complete for uh, $2 in, uh, in a couple different thrift stores down there. Um, we're going to go in a little bit of order from kind of like worst to the best finds. Um, you saw the Planet Fun retro game shop in the clip. I only picked up one thing there. That was this Royal Rumble. And I think I said that. I picked up Royal Rumble on the Dreamcast. It's actually a game I've been wanting. There's a Planet Fun's card. Planet Fun. In uh, Savannah. Savannah is a neat little city. You saw some clips down there. It was a rainy day. I'm in Montana when I usually take vacations. I'm vacationing in Las Vegas. So we that area got a ton of rain the day we went down to Savannah. And whoo, the humidity. People down there are like, you're sweating. What's wrong with you? It's only like 65 degrees. I'm like, I'm not used to humidity. Anyway, uh, this game is actually a port of an arcade game. And it was a Sega release in the arcades, and then they put it on the Dreamcast. I mean, it's got a Royal Rumble mode with, uh, you know, I think 40 superstars, kind of similar to WCW Revenge. Unfortunately, I think there's only nine wrestlers in the game, so that's going to get a little repetitive. And uh, $8, which is about what I wanted to pay. This was kind of on my eBay watch list. Like, I should pick that up some point. Really nice uh, condition copy, complete, and all that. Sweet. All right, let's do this thrift store right here. So this was the off-island thrift focus. There I am, phone. Hi. Uh, off-island thrift is not actually on Hilton Head Island. It's on Bluffton, I think it's called. And uh, first thrift store that actually had games. Actually had some damn games. A lot of them, like a big rack of games. It's just they were really overpriced. I'm talking about PS2, Xbox, Xbox 360 sports games for minimum $6. Minimum in any condition. And old ragged GameStop cases, just ugh, not in good condition. Um, I just went up to the counter and asked. It was a huge thrift store. They had a ton of cool stuff in there. I was like, do you have any older games? And this lady says, let me go get this guy. I think we usually put those on eBay. I'm like, do you have any on eBay now that aren't selling that you would want to sell in the store? Anyway, she goes and gets the guy. Guy's like, oh, we keep stuff like that over here. And he walks me over to this, like, armor thing. <laughs> like, this huge, like, almost a wardrobe kind of. <laughs> he opens the thing. And sure enough, in there, there's an Xbox 360, there's a Sega Genesis, um, there's a copy of Tecmo Bowl on the Nintendo that he wanted 10 bucks for, and there's a nice little stack of uh, Genesis titles. 
all sports titles, but uh, a nice little stack. So I kind of took them all out and I said, how much? He had gone back. The lady was there. He's like, let me go get him again. So he comes out from the back again. He's like, oh, $2 each. Now, they're all sports titles, but as I think you saw in a recent $5 game box episode, I'm not going to pass up good condition Genesis titles. I don't care if they are sports titles. So let's go over these. First one, we have a Sega Sports Primetime uh, Football starring Deion Sanders. Uh, this one is probably in the worst condition of them all. The box feels a little bit uh, waterlogged. There was also a manual for World Series Baseball kind of jammed in between here. But overall, it's... I kind of... I'm curious, maybe, was this like in Hurricane Matthew? This is kind of the condition of the box. You know, I can tell it's been wet. Cart looks in decent condition, though. And the manual's fine as well. The manual is yeah, right there. There it is. As I, I make it in worse condition by folding it up while sticking it back in there. Anywho, uh, it's $2. I didn't look these up. Actually, I did look them up, but I don't know off the top of my head, like, you know, price charting value or whatever. But, you know, I don't think it's worth more than 5 or $6. Um, this one, Bill Walsh College Football, I believe it was the only one that came out in the Bill Walsh series, there weren't more. Um, college football game, once again, not worth a whole lot. However, I'm really excited about the condition, not just because of the uh, cart, because look at all these inserts. You've got the manual, and I would assume these things get lost over time, over the 25 years or so that this has been out. But, I mean, we have Georgia 92 stats, Georgia 80 stats. They must not have got the rights to the schools because here's Atlanta 90. That would be Georgia Tech. Baton Rouge 87. That would be LSU. Um, Pullman, Washington 92. That would be Washington's state i believe so and they're all kind of like that college station texas 92 that's texas a&m south bend indiana 92 that's notre dame but i think they're all in here i'm not sure i could be wrong but there's i mean that's all the team stats in bill walsh college football that's a lot of them so that's pretty cool that those were still in this box, and it does make the case kind of hefty, but the game's not worth a lot. Uh, John Man Football 93. Once again, these are, uh, I think, complete. That's the manual, and uh, I believe there's whatever that is. Uh, John Madden Football 93 for Genesis, once again. Uh, and the card's in good condition, too. Once again... Um, not worth a lot. John Madden Football 93 Championship Edition. You find that? Pick it up. It's worth a little money. I just like saying the title of this game. Dick Vitale's Awesome Baby College Hoops. Uh, Dickie V. Man, I used to be a big Dickie V fan back when I had ESPN. <laughs> there it is. There's his mean mug on a Genesis cart. Um... I almost want to say that's Ed O'Bannon at UCLA, but I think this was before his time. Maybe just a little bit before his time. Ed O'Bannon is the one who sued EA eventually and caused EA to stop putting out NCAA games for football and basketball because they weren't getting compensated for their likeness. But I don't think that's Ed O'Bannon. I may be wrong. Got another Madden here, Madden 95. Uh, once again, it is complete. Even has this, uh, like this stat poster of all the players and teams, like Dallas Cowboys, Aikman, Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin. Pretty neat. And it's in good condition, too. No rips, tears that I could tell. <laughs> like I said, they may be sports titles, but they're mostly really good condition. $2 a piece. I'm not going to 
complain. Tommy Lasorda baseball. So you can see a little water log damage. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. But the inside's all right. There's the uh, World Series baseball manual that was in that uh, Deion Sanders game. But this one's got the Tommy Lasorda manual and the, uh, you know, if I want to register my product with Sega. <laughs> What's with close-ups of old guys on Sega Genesis cards? <laughs> um, now, there are three games in that stack that, I mean, they weren't worth, like, a lot. But they're worth, you know, 10 to $15. Uh, Coach K College Basketball. Probably about a $10 to $12 game. Uh, complete the manual. The front cover is uh, ripped off. Got separated. Probably the worst condition one in this whole bunch. Besides the uh, cardboard sleeve of the Deion Sanders game. But a uh, neat little game. I believe that's Bobby Hurley on the cover. Now, <laughs> this game, I want to say it's about a $12 to $15 game. Uh, Team USA Basketball. And, wouldn't you know it, that is Michael Jordan. I don't know how they got away with, uh, I know he was on the team, and they licensed, you know, the Olympic stuff, but I thought that he had a way, like, you keep me off your marketing. I got my own shit going on with McDonald's and Nike. I do remember, like, I think it was Reebok, or some shoe company, I want to say it was Reebok, had the shoe, like, all the, the they, they had the rights to outfit Team USA, but not one player on the Dream Team in 1992 had a contract with Reebok, so they would drape, like, American flags so they would cover the logos. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Uh, anyway, this looks like it's supposed to include a poster, but I know it's not in here. But, um, like I said, pretty nifty little title. Uh, manual is in there. The registration card in there. Uh, there's a poster of some sort in here. And uh, what's this? Hint line. Hint line. This has everything in there. Pretty sweet. Team USA Basketball. Man, uh, for those of you who weren't around or were maybe a little young back in 1992, I cannot tell you how just freaking exciting it was. Basically, the United States of America was sick of getting our butts kicked in the Olympics by, you know, professional teams from Europe while we sent our 20, 21-year-old college basketball players to the Olympics to play against veterans and, and, and pro players from Europe. So we said, fuck you, you're getting the NBA players. Here comes Jordan and Pippen and Barkley and David Robinson and you're going to fuck, oh, and uh, Christian Leitner. <laughs> I mean, look at this team. Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, there's Christian Leitner, like, uh, there he is, oh, fuck it. Yeah, we got to play him two minutes a game. Patrick Ewing, uh, Carl Malone, John Stockton, Chris Mullen, um, Bird, Larry Bird. Just what they were literally the dream team. They were fun to watch too. Uh, final pickup from that lot was NHL 95. Once again, about probably a $12 game or so, $10 to $12. Uh, complete. Like that uh, copy of Madden, it has like a roster, full roster pull out of teams and the players and their ratings. Well, not maybe not ratings, just stats. Yeah, it does have ratings on there. Okay. Uh, NHL 94 is a legendary game on the Genesis. If you find NHL 94, you're still talking about a 20 to $25 game complete. So that's pretty awesome. NHL 95, I'm not going to complain about that either. So from that thrift store we had... Excuse me. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Genesis titles at $2 a piece, spent $18 there. Also in that thrift store, I spent $10 on these two disc-only Wii U titles. We have a Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures loose that goes for about... Hi, Mario. You see Mario holding my camera? Right there. <laughs> loose. This goes for about $10 to $12. And uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games Sochi 2014 for the Wii U. 
about a $15 game loose disc. Got both those for five. All right, so we spent 20, 28 at that thrift store plus taxes, 29 something. All right, and the big find was my first find. The very first store we entered in Savannah, Georgia is an antique store. It wasn't a retro game store. It wasn't a pawn shop or a thrift store. I just asked the guy, hey, any of your vendors here selling old games? He pulls this box up full of, had a couple NES titles and all these Master System titles. All these Master System titles. Unfortunately for me, a lot of them wound up being duplicates. <laughs> It kind of sucks. You know, I have been over the past couple of years uh, building up my, ever since I got my Master System, I'm building up my Master System games. And once you know it, I find a huge lot of them. And the best games in the lot are all really duplicates for me, save for one. So we'll get through these. Um, most of them were kind of upgrades, so I'm, I was able to upgrade some. Uh, like this one, Shinobi. Uh, complete. There it is. I had Shinobi before, but it was just a loose cart. So, Shinobi, loose cart. Uh, I'm not going to try to sell it or trade it. What I'm going to do is this is going in the stack of the 300 subscriber contest. When I reach 300 subs, I'm going to have a contest. And somebody's going to get a whole stack of stuff. I'm going to spend the time between, you know, the past few weeks... Up until I reach 300, when I'm out collecting, garage selling, thrifting, pawn shopping, eBaying, whatever, getting big lots, every now and then I'm going to pull a, a title that's a duplicate or I don't need and put it in that contest. Shinobi is going in there. I think that makes three or four games right now that are in that stack. So tell your friends to subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't. It's because the sooner we get to 300 subs, the sooner I can do the contest. Of course, the longer it takes me to get 300 subs, the longer I'm going to have to put stuff in the 300 sub contest. I don't know if I'm working against myself, but I don't know. Thunderblade! Uh, once again, this is complete. In really good shape. I had Thunderblade right there. So, that's a dupe for me. Keeping that one, this is going in the trade pile. I've already kind of separated them. Like I said, I've already done this pickup portion. I was just a little tipsy. Uh, Kinsiden. A uh, fun little game on the Genesis. Genesis. See, I'm drinking water and I'm like giving misinformation. On the Master System. Complete. And my duplicate copy is right here. There it is. Afterburner, right there. Of course, an arcade classic. Complete. And there's my copy of Afterburner that I had. I don't think it was complete. Nope, see? Manual missing. Case was a little cracked. Going in the trade pile. <laughs> I had bought this one about a month before my vacation. Rambo. It's basically an Akari Warriors ripoff with the Rambo license. And I love Akari Warriors. Um, there it is. Somebody put a little code or something up there. And here was my copy of Rambo. I think I bought on eBay when they were doing those coupons. So, um, now I've got a right copy of Rambo up for trade. I've got a guy locally who I have traded Master System with in the past. I'm going to see if he wants it again. If he doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Master System's kind of a hard sell and a hard trade. Now a lot of people have a Master System. And um, you hear people like, oh, I'm a retro collector. Like, oh, yeah, what do you collect? Oh, Mario and Zelda. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you want to try Master System? What's that? Oh, it's Sega's first console. Competed with the, with the NES. Sega's first console was the Genesis, man. They didn't have anything before that. You're wrong. Space Harrier. Another arcade classic. This case is a beat, but it is complete. And there is a Space Harrier, also complete. I think this is the one I want to keep. Why did I have that in my keep pile? I don't know. This is now on my keep pile, and the beat up case one is going on my trade pile. All right, game I didn't have, I think it was a pack in. Hang on, a Safari Hunt. I can't play Safari Hunt, I don't have the zapper. 
uh, not complete. It is the third copy of Hang On I have, because I also have Hang On and Astro Warrior, the combo cart. And Hang On is built into my master system. You don't even need the cart to play it. You just turn it on and it starts. Okay, everything from here on out, including this one, the Hang On Space Safari Hunt, are new to me. Unfortunately, they're mostly sports titles. <laughs> Great Ice Hockey. I think Great Ice Hockey, out of all these uh, great sports titles, out of the ones I got at least, may be the most valuable at like 10 bucks. Great Baseball. Not complete either. Great Basketball. That's complete. Great Football. Complete. Oh, that's a... Okay, here's the uh, business card for the antique shop that I went to to find these. Lots of cool stuff in that antique shop, by the way. Lots of cool stuff. Um, if you just like looking at old stuff, finding old stuff, if you're interested in old stuff, they probably have it in there. Uh, I spent some time in there, but I'm not going to spend a ton of money because, first of all, I had to get it back from South Carolina to Montana. Second of all, I was there to get games. Pro Wrestling. Oh, and, you know, visit my family and stuff, that too. Yeah. Not complete. And the best find, luckily the best find of that lot, I didn't have. Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars. Great, great find. Thankfully it was complete and in really good shape. Good game, good find for the Master System. So all total, we got... Oh, shucks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 Master System titles. Um, I made an offer of $100. The guy added it up, and the prices they had on like the stickers, these little green stickers you've been seeing on them, added up to 150 So he called the guy. The guy whose booth that was was not in that day. Called him up, said, I've got an offer for $100. Do you want to do it? He said, what about $110? What about $110? $110 is good for me. So we did a $110, whatever, and um, he did the uh, the tax. I had completely forgotten about tax. Montana doesn't have sales tax. So here I am kind of, you know, on my first kind of shopping excursion down there. The first couple of days were spent visiting family. I didn't really pull out my wallet for anything. Um, I'm like, oh crap, I've got 115 cash. So he worked it so that with tax and everything, it came to 115. So 115, I did add it up on price charting and we had about, once again, I would have been making those drinks earlier from the, those souvenir glasses. I want to say about 170 to 180 in total value in games that we paid 115 for. And I don't have any problem whatsoever paying a little bit when I see a huge stack of Master System games in the title or in the wild. You don't get a lot of chances to get those Master System games. So when you get the chance and you've got the funds, you do it. I wish six of them weren't dupes, but they were. But the bonus for that is one you guys are going to get, one of you guys is going to get, and the other, hopefully, I'm going to make someone's day by increasing their Master System collection. And hopefully they can hook me up with something cool. All right, so that's all the pickups of the video games. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it took so long. Once again, I was toasty. And when I say I was toasty, it means I was toasty. I was like, so then we went down to Savannah. This iced coffee and rum is good. Oh, I have, let me have another beer. Yeah. I. <laughs> it's an amateur YouTube channel with just over 200 subs. But even then, I want to maintain just a modicum of professionalism. And overall, I really enjoy South Carolina. I miss my family. I loved it down there. I love the beach. I love the food. I love the drink. And uh, But I'm home now. And... Got some great games to add to the collection.
Thanks to you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, by the way, I have an Instagram channel. I'm just trying it out. So this is the first time I'm announcing it. I've had it going now for a couple, uh, about a week. Um, Juice Daddy 5. Juice, J-U-C-E, just like my channel name. Juice Daddy 5 is the name of the Instagram page. And it's the Instagram of this YouTube channel. And any big finds for $5 game box or just out game hunting, I'm going to take a picture of them, post them there. You're going to see them way before I edit and upload the video. I have, there's nobody following the page yet because I haven't told anybody until right now. But I've got a couple of good finds that I have found over the past week or so up there. So if you want to see what I'm finding when I find it, follow on Instagram, JuiceDaddy5. If there's any interest in that, I will keep doing it. If there's interest on me doing that on other platforms, whether it be Twitter, which I don't use, Snapchat, which I don't use, I'm not making a second Facebook page, sorry. Let me know. Like, hey man, Snapchat would be better. Fine, I'll try it on Snapchat. If there's no interest at all, I'll just stop doing it and quit yapping my gums and just show you the video games I'm finding. Like and subscribe if you wish. Tell your friends about the video and have them subscribe so we can get close to that 300 and give away some cool stuff. And I will see you soon with another episode of the $5 Game Box coming up very shortly. Thanks y'all for watching. I'll see you soon.